86 heading east. We're heading toward Port Mansville. There's a free camping opportunity at Fred Stone Park. It's uh, right on the Intracoastal Waterway. You should be able to see all these windmills here in South Texas on your screen. I surely didn't think of the state of Texas as a clean energy producing state, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of windmills down here in South Texas. Chime back in is get a little bit closer to the uh, Fredstone Park. They were approaching North Bay Shore Drive here in Port Mansfield. We we're just entering Port Mansfield. Stone Park, free camping in Fredstone Park. I'll chime back in as we get a little bit closer. This is uh, the road we were on coming into Port Mansfield. Uh, we pulled over to go to the restroom, but what I wanted to show you is right off of the uh, main drag here coming into Port Mansfield. Uh, you have a sign that says public restroom. And it looks like the, the town of Port Mansfield uh, have uh, their facilities here. And uh, if you see Melody walking across the street, that building right there, uh, there's clean flush toilets, men and women's restrooms right in there. So FYI, we're on our way to Fredstone Park. Check out some free camping this morning here in South Texas. Let's get back on the road. Just past a bait and tackle shop. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto North Bay Shore Drive. See the intercoastal bit ahead. Fredstone Park is not far off the road. onto North Bay Shore Drive. reason I come out and do these on-site reviews of free camping locations. This is Fred Stone Park. I got it barricaded off today. Looks like they're rebuilding the fishing pier and up at dead ahead there is where the uh, free camping is supposed to be. Uh, let's go check the area out. I'm going to go uh, find the, the city building and see if we can uh, 
find out what's going on with the free camping here. Well, this is this is the public parking area here at Fritzstone Park. And it does look like they have uh, some construction going on, rebuilding the pier and those pavilions up ahead is where the free RV parking was. So uh, let's go up and take a closer look. Saw quite a few deer coming out here uh, this morning. Waterfowl out there in the intercoastal. But, uh, yeah, they're rebuilding this pier. I don't know what the story is, whether it got damaged in a, one of the hurricanes, but uh, they have all the lumber piled up here, and you can see where they've been reconstructing the pier. This would be parking area here, but on some information I was looking at online, these pavilions, right in front of these pavilions is where they had uh, free RV parking. And I believe you could camp here for up to three days free. It looks like the pavilions Either had the pavilions that look like there's no roof on them. So I don't know whether these, it looks like these have been reconstructed as well. They just don't have a roof on there yet because that's new wood. And it does look like there was some erosion right here where there would also be other pavilions. There would be two more pavilions right there at least. And it looks like those pavilions are completely gone. See that? I believe this was listed on freecampsites.net. I don't particularly use that that site anymore as far as doing my reviews I put everything on Campendium um, and this site was not on Campendium the last I looked so, but this is why I come out and do the on-site review to see what the status is and uh, it appears there at the, at the present time this film was taken in January 2021. Free camping right here at this location at the moment. So, let me take a look around, see if there's some signage, and I may go back and try to find the uh, city administration building and see what the deal is with the, uh, the park and uh, uh, what's going on here. Fredstone Park, it makes a big semicircle. That's uh, where you would go out. This is the way I walked in. There's uh, what I believe to have been a restroom. It's not open right now. And uh, this area here is where they had at least uh, four pavilions. I can see cement slabs where there were four pavilions. And then uh, 
there was a fishing pier out here and there still is, but uh, it's under construction. But definitely no camping here at the moment. So this is gonna be a free camping dud during the time of my visit, there is no free camping here. But uh, that doesn't mean that there won't be free camping here in the future. Like I said, uh, it was either dirt I Overlander or freecampsites.net, I forget which one had listed, and that's how I ended up coming out here to check this out. See my truck parked, got the entrance blocked off. There is a sign here, it says Fred Stone Park. But I don't see any other signs about camping limit or any other signs that would indicate what's going on here. Yeah, Fred Stone Park here in South Texas, uh, just off of Port Manfield. So I'm gonna go see if I can find the city building and find out what's going on with this park. down here to Port Mansfield to find out what the deal is with Fredstone Park. They have a nice little uh, harbor park here. And Mr. Pelican there. <gasps> there he goes. Here he goes. Here comes another one. Honey Hickman Public Fishing Dock. This is, uh, you can see the, the entrance to Port Manfield right here. And then Fred Stone Park was off to the left there, off the road about 0.3 miles. But uh, there's supposed to be a sheriff substation right down there. that large building is, but I don't see one. Uh, I'm gonna give them a call and uh, see what the deal is with uh, Fred Stone Park. Okay, well I called the Willis County, Texas County Commissioner's Office and they have informed me that a contract has been issued to replace that pier and the contract was issued back in July of 2019 and the park's been closed um, pending the reconstruction of that pier so um, for those that were interested in the free camping out at Fredstone Park at Port Mansfield, Texas I would definitely check the status of the park before you come out to camp and to verify that camping is still available, free camping is still available when they reopen the park. There's no set date um, according to the county commissioner's office as of this filming as to when Fred Stone Park will reopen. And as you can see from the uh, video that I shot today, construction is, is still underway. Hope this helps. I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile for Fredstone Park listed in the written video description on YouTube. I'll also have the grid coordinates for Fredstone Park in the written video description as well. If you like these videos, like and subscribe and I'll see you down the road.